Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Toast Titanium. I'm using Toast Titanium 11 for a Mac, of course. So, Toast is a very powerful program. It is how I burn DVDs, I copy audio CDs, and I convert files. So, when you open up Toast, you'll see a few things. You'll see a data, you'll see audio, you'll see video, copy, and then you'll see convert. All right. So what I'm going to do is the most uh, popular thing uh, that people do with Toast is that video. So I'm going to take some video and some media from my um, hard drive and then make it into a DVD. Now I'm not going to make any kind of menus or anything like that and I'm going to do a regular DVD so I'm just going to click on that. Alrighty. So I want to autoplay disc on insert and then I don't want things to play continuously on this uh, video. This is a wedding video, uh, part of a wedding video. So menu style, I'm just going to choose uh, no menu. So when it comes up, I just want it to come in and burn the DVD. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to drag and drop your footage right on there. Now what I did with my footage is that I convert my footage to something called an M2V, an Apple compressor. And that makes it quicker and easier to uh, burn the DVD, at least for me. And because it doesn't have to, Toast doesn't have to compress your DVD, your footage already. You do the compression and you just tell Toast to do what it does best and uh, burn the DVD. So if you look, this uh, dancing and party sequence is 54 gigabytes. And as we know, uh, it's only 4.7 gigabytes on one DVD. So what I did, I compressed it and I let it go. So I'm going to drag this over here. When I drag this here, it's going to pop up with a menu and ask me that does not contain audio. And of course I want, it's a separate audio file. So I'll hit yes. And then I'll just choose the audio. And then when I choose it, it's right there. I can always hit edit. And if I want to set a picture of the DVD or, or set an in point or out point chapters, anything like that, I can always set the picture right there. So I can set the picture right there and I can hit OK. Or if I wanted to add chapters to it, automatic or manual, I can do that as well. Now I can also say in my settings um, how many I want to burn and all of that good stuff, how many copies, anything like that. So it shows MPEG 2, 4 megabits per second, 8 megabits max. That's the encoding that it did. And then the audio is Dolby Digital. So no menus, the quality I want is good. You could put it better or best, but I just leave it at good. And all we're gonna do is just hit burn. And it shows you the amount of space remaining. And once it burns, it'll just pop right out. And then I'm going to put the title, if it asks you, Dancing DVD, and then hit okay. So it's gonna ask me to insert a disc. So I'm gonna insert my disc. And once I insert it, it's going to start burning uh, the content right away. So let's insert this in our tray. And once it waits for the writer, it's going to go a lot quickly and we're going to see it play. All right. So we'll be right back and show you the finished product. One thing I wanted to show before I show you the finished product is that uh, what it does, it multiplexes it and then it's going to encode it. And it's not going to take a long time at all because I've done most of the heavy lifting once I uh, compress the DVD. So my advice to you when you do a DVD or burn one, instead of just uh, exporting a QuickTime movie, you want to do some type of compression. And if you have uh, Apple compression, it's $49. You can go in. They have a preset for DVDs. If you know nothing about it, you can go right in there and I uh, use that.